Hey guys, welcome back to Mo's Game Table. Today we're going to take a look inside Angola from Multiman Publishing. This is part of the International Game Series, and this is a, a reprint of an original published game by the Ragnar Brothers. And this is one that I've looked at for the past several years and have kind of gone back and forth on it. And then last year at a local convention, I was able to play the game with three other people and had a blast. It was just a really interesting, fun game and one that I wanted to explore more. So I figured, you know what, I need to get this in my library. Even though I primarily play the majority of my games solitaire, I don't think this one will work very well solitaire, but uh, I will find out that in the future. But uh, we'll take a look here at the back of the box. Angola is the game on a civil war that occurred in Angola from February 1975 to March of 1976. Warring factions supported by surrogates of the ideological struggle between the United States and the Soviet Union would tear a country apart in one of the most tragic events of the very tragic 1970s. Players take the roles of the various factions that fought during that war. Angola was first published in 1988 by Ragnar Brothers and has been a cult hit ever since it was released. MMP is proud to bring this wonderful game to a wider audience and to give this game true state-of-the-art graphics and updated and modernized rules that incorporate all of the play experiences since this game first debuted in 1988. In this four-player game, players fight over the actual terrain and with the actual goals of the participants. Players will represent the FNLA and Unita forces, the two factions that were Western-supported, and FAPLA and MIPLA forces, the two factions that were Soviet-supported. Success on the field will be reinforced by greater and greater support of the surrogates. Cuba, South Africa, and Zaire of the two great world powers and the winner will hold the destiny of Angola in their hands. It is a game designed by Phil Kendall. It is, uh, complexity is listed as a medium. It is solitaire is listed as low. Game comes with a 22 by 34 inch map board, two counter sheets, 110 playing cards, one full color rule book, four identical player aids, and eight dice. And you see here an example of the map and the cards and counters that you'll get inside of Angola. Let's take a look inside the box and see what you get. Get a nice sheet from MMP saying that they're dedicated to perfection and customer satisfaction. And here is our customer information and a list of the contents of the game it's so you can verify that you have received everything. Here are the two decks that you get in the game. There's your eight dice and one of them just flew out. And we have our rule book, our map, and our counter sheet and player aids. We'll put this on the, out of, on the side here. And let's take a look at the map first. And then we'll take a look at the counters as well. So this is a cardstock map. Um, so you'll need to put some plexi on top of it. And it goes portrait size here. I don't think I can back out enough to show you, but down here at the bottom is actually where your victory track, your turn record, all that is, as well as victory marker movement, victory tokens controlled by alliance, and victory marker movement um, steps are over here. But I will turn it sideways so now you can get a look at the entire map rather than looking at it straight on. But that is the map for Angola. And this is, if you look here, this looks kind of familiar to you coin fans, to you fellow coin fans. This gives you the uh, first player, this is a first player chart, and it sets off how everybody is going to go and what order they're going to go. We will so, take a look at our counters. First counter sheet here, we've got our FNLA forces, and then you've got some missiles, minefields, and uh, over to the right hand side, you've got some. More weapons, United Forces, FNLA, MPLA, FAPA forces down here as well. And then we've got more of the MIPLA, United, FAPLA forces, as well as victory uh, tokens here, and some more administrative markers down here. Now we've got our combat guide. That this is uh, the one that goes to all four factions. Everyone gets the same one. They're all color coded, so that way you know who gets what. Uh, this would be FAPLA, 
and this would be the FNLA, and then this is MIPLA, the yellow, and then blue is UNITA. So if you, whichever one, uh, whichever side you're playing, you know it's all color coded, real easy to uh, follow. Starts off step one here with the planning phase, operations phase, and then we go down to uh, all the way through the possibilities during the operations phase, and then the end phase, and then you have recruitment and how that works. And then there's also variable recruitment, covert foreign aid, uh, clean up, and then on the back is your uh, combat guide for a step for automatic victory, uh, commit and reveal error groups, uh, because you're gonna kinda do things in a step order. It's not like you're just gonna commit everything and then just fight. You're going to do it in step order, and that's why these things are uh, important. And you're going to reveal combat units, uh, so it's all kind of hidden, which I really like. Um, resolve air to air combat, uh, resolve airstrikes, artillery minefields, uh, anti tank missiles, and then you have your combat resolution retreats, straggling, and your town and city transfers over here. So that's what you get on the player aid. And then this is just a blank sheet of paper. <laughs> But we'll take a look here at the rules of play. The rule book goes to page 23. It starts on page three and it goes all the way down to, uh, the rules themselves go to, uh, I would say page 50 or page 20. And then after that, you've got counter limitations, unit and equipment descriptions for a page. Then there's hints on play, game notes, credits at the end of the rule book. But uh, introduction starts here on page three and it gives you the game overview. Uh, everything's nice colored images in the manual. You have all of your steps for setting up the game. And then we get into the sequence of play, operations phase, which we saw on the, all of these we saw on the player aid. And then it explains how movement is. Obviously you could see it's area movement game. And it explains to you how that movement works, how combat works. And then we have illustrated example of uh, how combat works here when you commit your you commit your air units, your ground support, how that works in the air superiority phase. And then you have airstrikes, artillery, uh, mines and minefields, combat resolution, um, and then how to read the results table, straggling, uh, towns and cities, and then how to win the game is on page 16. And then you have new troops, crisis table, uh, recruitment, covert foreign aid, uh, infantry brigades, and then you have special areas. There are, let's see, three special areas. You have Zaire, and then you have Southwest Africa and Kabinda. Those are all special areas in the game. They have different effects. Then you have alliance rules, counter limitations, unit and equipment descriptions, and then hints on play is on page 21. And then we have our game notes and credits right here, and then an appendix which gives you unit counters and changing the, or the changing face of war. And the back of the book also has your hit table, your results table, and all of that that you'll need for your, your CRTs that you'll need. But that is everything you get inside of Angola from Multiman Publishing. It is the game that, uh, like I said, I've, I've looked at it for years and I've just never uh, decided to uh, uh, go with it uh, until recently. But uh, that was one thing, I'm sorry guys, I forgot to mention, but these cards, you actually get a hand of cards and then you choose which card you're gonna use every time. That's actually a major part of the game that I totally glossed over, sorry. You set them up in order and then you um, pull them off the deck in order and everybody plays in player order based on your order. So you're kind of, you're kind of uh, trying to guess ahead, read ahead, read the situation ahead and adapt to it, which I really like because that, that was the, one of the biggest things that I really enjoyed about Angola was how fluid it felt and how you had to, uh, the, the, the combat changed things up and, and the situation changed and how you had to adapt to it and kind of, like I said, read ahead or try to read ahead, read the tea leaves, so to speak. And it doesn't always work out that well, but hey, you never know what's gonna happen uh, in combat for real. So I, I kind of like how that works quite a bit. Um, but that, like I said, is everything you get inside of Angola from Multiman Publishing. And I uh, hope that if you are considering this or if you have a group of four uh, and you're interested in coinish type of games, this has a much more traditional hex encounter field combat system in it. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Uh, definitely give this one a look, uh, especially if you have a group of four. Uh, this is definitely a game you're going to want to check out. But that, again, is Angola from Multiman Publishing. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you have any comments or questions, post them down below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time.